Here's another one. 20 years back, Washington chose this battle, the war on terror. It went to Afghanistan with one mission, wipe out jihadists and restore peace. But 20 years on, this mission is far from accomplished. There is no peace in Afghanistan today. The Taliban is very much on the offensive. America and NATO very much on the back foot. But the Biden administration does not see it that way. The White House has declared that America has achieved the goals it set out to achieve and that it's time to bring its forces home. The date has been set, the 11th of September. That's the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. On this date, every single American soldier stationed in Afghanistan will fly back home. Does this mean the war on terror is over? Or does it amount to surrender before an increasingly defined Taliban? Our next report explores. On the 11th of September 2001, an American Airlines Boeing 767 crashed into the World Trade Center in New York City. It was the deadliest terror attack in human history. Within 102 minutes, 19 men armed with small knives inflicted more damage on America than the Soviet Union had done during the Cold War. What followed was an endless war on terror. Their network is extensive. The U.S. and its allies went to Afghanistan to wipe out jihadists. Twenty years on, it's hard to say if America's mission has been fulfilled. But its willingness to fight this war has certainly worn out. This uh, is an important moment for uh, our alliance. Almost 20 years ago, after the United States was attacked on 9-11, together we went into Afghanistan, uh, and now uh, it is time to uh, bring our forces home. On the 11th of September 2021, the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, America will withdraw all of its remaining 2,500 troops from Afghanistan. The United Kingdom has drawn up similar plans for its 750 soldiers. So has NATO for its 10,000 personnel. I will say that the president has been consistent uh, in his view that there's not a military solution uh, to Afghanistan, that we have been there for far too long. That has been his view for some time. Well documented, well reported on. Uh, he believes that, uh, and he remains committed to supporting uh, negotiations between the parties, which many of you uh, may be following are resuming uh, next week. Uh, and he also believes we need to focus our resources on fighting the threats we face today, 20 years, almost 20 years after the war began. The announcement has been made. The date has been set. But the Taliban is not impressed with the optics. Joe Biden's decision misses a May 1st deadline for withdrawal. This date was agreed upon during peace talks with the Taliban. U.S. officials blame the insurgents for failing to live up to their commitments. The Taliban says America is dragging out the process, warning that hostilities will continue. The staying on of troops beyond 14 months, whether they are American or NATO troops, means the continuation of Afghanistan's occupation. We have fought occupation for 20 years. Therefore, in this case, we are forced to continue our fight and jihad. Washington's decision is final. The Taliban's defense is rigid. It plans to skip a summit on Afghanistan's future due to be held in Turkey later this month. The summit is meant to jumpstart efforts to end the war and sketch out a possible political settlement. The Taliban says there will be no settlement until all foreign forces leave. But the implications of a hasty troop withdrawal could be grievous. To start with, for Kabul, an early retreat means fighting the fundamentalists alone. The Afghan security forces have relied heavily on US air power. 
they will be left defenseless unless a power sharing agreement is worked out. Second, a retreat now means handing over Afghanistan to Pakistan on a platter. Islamabad already operates safe havens and sanctuaries across the Durand line. It could further undo the relative stability achieved in the last 20 years. Yes. And lastly for India, which has had excellent ties with every elected government in Kabul, instability in Afghanistan and Pakistan calling the shots will naturally be a cause of concern. These two factors could strengthen Islamabad's game plan for Kashmir. The people of Afghanistan have suffered enough due to proxy wars. A proxy peace will in no way improve the situation. It's also difficult to predict if the coming four months will yield any results. Your report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.